The eyes that see creation The eyes that have witnessed creation. Eyes that have gazed upon the cosmos for centuries, silently observing the birth and death of stars, the collision of galaxies, and the endless dance of light and shadow across the universe. Since the dawn of our existence, humanity has looked up at the night sky in awe. We believed we could comprehend its vastness, thinking the patterns of light were simple, understandable, predictable. We saw points of brilliance scattered across the darkness and imagined we knew their secrets. We traced constellations across the heavens, connecting distant suns into stories. Tales of heroes, gods, and legends written in the night sky. We drew maps of the stars, each line a thread in the tapestry of our imagination, each pattern a reflection of our desire to understand. We charted the stars. Mapped hidden galaxies. Counted worlds far beyond our reach. And in doing so, we convinced ourselves that by naming them, by capturing their faint glimmers through our instruments, we could somehow hold infinity in our hands, as if the act of observation could tame the immeasurable. Yet every time we thought we understood the cosmos, reality shattered that illusion. Reminding us how small, how fragile, and how fleeting we truly are. Every new discovery revealed yet another layer of complexity, another scale of grandeur, beyond what we imagined possible. Now, once again, the James Webb Space Telescope has undone everything we thought we knew. Not with a whisper, but with a revelation so profound, so staggering, it threatens to rewrite the story of existence itself. With a single image, reaching back 13.5 billion years, Webb forces us to confront a truth so vast, so beautiful, so incomprehensible, that it shakes the foundations of everything we thought was real. It is a vision that humbles us, that expands our perspective beyond the borders of imagination. The universe is not merely large. It is infinite. Infinite in ways our equations cannot describe, our theories cannot predict, and our imagination struggles to comprehend. It is older than our science, deeper than our philosophy, more intricate than our wildest dreams, perhaps more alive than we ever dared to believe. What began as a mission to glimpse the faint afterglow of the Big Bang has become something far more transcendent. Webb has not only revealed distant galaxies, it has illuminated the very architecture of creation itself exposing structures, patterns, and cosmic relationships we never knew existed. Before Webb, there was Hubble. Humanity's great eye in the heavens, our first true glimpse into the depths of time and space. For over three decades, Hubble stood as our window to the universe, its ultra-deep field forever changing how we saw the cosmos. In a patch of sky no larger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, Hubble revealed over 10,000 galaxies. Not stars, but entire universes, each burning with billions of suns. Each a story billions of years in the making. Galaxies swirling with grace and violence, forming and dying in an eternal cosmic rhythm. That single image expanded our horizon. Hinting that the observable universe might contain as many as two trillion galaxies. It forced us to realize that the night sky we thought we knew was only a fragment, a mere sliver of a grander reality. For a generation, Hubble defined what it meant to see beyond ourselves. It taught us that the night sky was not darkness but depth. A depth full of structure, mystery, and possibility, where entire civilizations might exist, where the laws of nature unfold on scales unimaginable. Yet even Hubble had limits. Its eyes could not see the oldest light. Light stretched thin, stretched by time itself, shifted into wavelengths invisible to its instruments, hidden by the immense expansion of space. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to pierce that veil. To look beyond time itself. To witness the first dawn. The birth of stars. The moment when darkness finally gave way to light. And when Webb's golden mirrors finally unfolded, 
Turning toward the heavens, the universe did not whisper back, it roared. It revealed itself in ways so intricate, so vast, that our minds struggled to grasp it. Webb's instruments captured light from the first galaxies, light that traveled across billions of years, a message from the earliest epochs of the cosmos, telling the story of creation in patterns of brilliance and shadow, order and chaos, structure and freedom. With every exposure, every carefully calculated observation, Webb drew back the curtain of time, revealing secrets that humanity had only dared to imagine. It was a reminder that the universe is not a static place, but a living, breathing expanse, full of motion, transformation. One of Webb's most ambitious programs, Cosmos Webb, devoted over 250 hours to scanning a patch of sky that seemed ordinary. An area three times larger than the full moon. Thousands of exposures were captured, layered, and combined. Creating the most intricate and breathtaking map of the universe ever made. Within that single image, scientists discovered something extraordinary, over 780,000 galaxies. Each one a glowing monument to time itself. Some appeared ancient, structured, and mature, existing mere hundreds of millions of years after the supposed beginning of everything. If Hubble's deep field could fit on a single page, Webb's vision would fill an entire wall. A mural of infinity. Every dot, another galaxy. Every galaxy, another universe. A living, breathing testament to cosmic time. It was not just an image. It was a revelation. A redefinition of what it means to exist. For the first time, humanity stood before the mirror of infinity. Yet behind the awe and wonder, something unsettling emerged. The galaxies Webb captured were far too advanced for their age. They possessed order, structure, and heavy elements that should not have existed so soon after the dawn of time. By every model we've built, the early cosmos should have been chaos. A haze of gas clouds, newborn stars, violent collisions. And yet there they stood, spiral galaxies, fully formed, majestic, ancient. They should not exist, but they do. This discovery shook the foundations of modern cosmology. Star formation, black hole growth, and galactic structures began long before our timeline allows. The clock of creation seems to have started before the Big Bang. Or perhaps time itself flows in ways we have never fully understood. Webb revealed not just ancient light, but echoes of something deeper something that challenges the very idea of beginnings. Galaxies were not scattered randomly. They were aligned. Connected. Bound by invisible threads stretching across unimaginable distances. These filaments, rivers of matter, wove galaxies into a grand cosmic tapestry, the cosmic web. A network of dark matter and gas so immense, it binds galaxies into structures holding hundreds of thousands of Milky Ways. Some of these colossal structures stretch billions of light years. Too perfect. Too symmetrical. Too deliberate to be the result of chance. The universe, it seems, was not born in chaos. It was born with design. For decades, the Big Bang stood as our cornerstone. The single moment from which all space, time, and matter were born. But Webb's discoveries whisper of something older. Something far more mysterious. If galaxies appeared mature so soon, perhaps the universe didn't start just once. Perhaps it has always been starting. A cycle of birth and rebirth. Expansion and collapse. Creation and renewal. Echoing through eternity. Some scientists speak of a cyclic universe. Others imagine layered time, where past and future intertwine, and what we call before and after is merely an illusion. The deeper web looks, the more the universe refuses to end. What we once called the observable universe, a sphere 93 billion light years across, may be only a fragment of something far greater. 
There may be no edge, no boundary, no center. The cosmos could stretch infinitely. An endless ocean of light and shadow repeating forever. Infinity, once a poetic dream, has become a scientific reality. And in that infinity, we see ourselves reflected. Standing before Webb's images, humanity faces its greatest paradox. We have never felt smaller. And yet never more significant. Against countless galaxies, we are but a flicker of consciousness on a fragile blue world orbiting an ordinary star. Yet we are the only known beings who built a machine capable of looking back across billions of years to capture the faint light of creation. In that act, we have become the universe beholding its own reflection. Webb has given us not merely a photograph, but a mirror. Reflecting both our insignificance and our brilliance. Its golden mirrors have peeled back the curtain of time, revealing that reality is deeper, stranger, and far more breathtaking than we ever imagined. The universe may have no beginning. No end. It may simply be. And as Webb continues to gaze into the infinite, each pixel reveals galaxies upon galaxies, patterns beyond comprehension, mysteries without end. Humanity now stands at the edge of something profound. The comfort of certainty has given way to the thrill of the unknown. The story of creation is being rewritten, and we are still on the first page. Webb was built to see the unseen, but it has revealed something more, our endless hunger to understand. Knowledge is not an ending, but a doorway. Beyond it lies something vast, timeless, eternal, and waiting. The universe is not only greater than we imagine,